What's going on, people? Thank you for joining me for another beer review. Got a Turkish beer today. It's Beer Monster O'Clock. So, yeah, why have I got a Turkish beer? Maybe you're asking. Well, because my mum and my brother have just come back from Turkey fairly recently, about a week or so ago. Uh, and while they were there, they picked me up a few Turkish beers to review for the channel, which is very nice of them because you can't get them over here. So, yeah, always good when people go abroad and bring me back some beers to review. Uh, that's very kind of them. Here's a little look at your can. It's very green looking with sort of um, splatter marks on it. The beer is called Efez Ozel Seri. And it says cold filtered in English underneath. Ozel Seri. Ozel, it's a bit like that geezer who used to play for Arsenal, wasn't it? He was Turkish as well, wasn't he? Well, German slash Turkish. Um, Ozel Seri means special series. So hopefully it's going to be a special beer. It comes in at 4.5% in alcohol volume. It's a 500 ml can, and I can't tell you how much it costs because it's Turkish and it was a gift, and how rude would it be to ask? It's one of them cans where you've got the old foil seal on the front there to make you work for your beverage. But I actually quite like that because it stops any shit getting in the top of the can, um, a bust or, or whatever. So yeah, so uh, nice to see, really. A little bit of extra effort, but you know, it's worth it, isn't it? Let's uh, chuck her in the glass and see what she's all about. As I say, a gift from Mummy Beer Monster. Yes, so hopefully it's good. I don't know if she actually tried it while she was away and liked it. So that's why she brought it back. Or she might just thought, well, you probably ain't done that one and grabbed it. I don't know. But I will give you my honest thoughts on the beverage. It's going in today the Stella Chalice. Because if I'm not really sure what to expect with a lager... It's a good all-round glass for a lager beverage. Here's a little look at your beer in the glass. Uh, I'm going to say medium levels of carbonation for a lager for me. Uh, a mixture of big bubbles and small bubbles. Quite slow-moving carbonation. You've got a decent size white uh, head. Really compact bubbles in that head. Quite creamy looking, if I say so. Yeah, it don't look too bad. And then um, let's check out the aromas of this Turkish Efez Uzel Siri. Let me know if you tried this one in the comments, guys, and what you thought of it. Perhaps you tried it while I was on a holiday in Turkey or something like that. All right, let's check out the aromas. Mm. It's uh, doesn't smell that great, let's say. It's got that kind of sweetness, that syrupy, corny, like soggy cornflakes sort of sweetness. <sighs> Slightly biscuity. It's like a grainy sort of aroma, but it's, there's a sweetness in there. It smells a bit rough, to be honest with you. <laughs> I can't lie. Um, it smells as rough as arseholes. <coughs> Hopefully it tastes a bit better. When they're cold filtered, normally they're really easy to drink and quite clean tasting. So hopefully the problem is just in the aroma or whatever. It's been in hot turkey and all that in it. So hopefully it's just that. Um, wish me luck, people. Cheers, everybody. Bash. I would say cheers in Turkish. I don't know. That's yamas in Greek. Uh, but I don't suppose Turkish people speak Greek, do they? Uh, do we have it on the sign? Uh, well, one here, it says... I've been lied to. On my sign, it says... Stin Iashu. For cheers in, in Greek. But when I went to Greece, that was again Yamas and doing the old elbow thing. Lying bastards. I wonder what Yamas actually means. English idiot, something like that, maybe. I don't know. Um, yeah, let me know if you know what cheese is in Turkish, and I'm going to try the beverage. First impressions of that. Turkish piss. No, it's, 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 it's not good beer. For me, it is not good beer. Uh, 
I'm struggling with this one a bit. What a bag of shit. Thanks, mother. Um, <laughs> should turn around and say, oh, I really liked it. <laughs> um, right, why is it a bag of shit? I, I didn't really think about what it tastes like. I just know that everything was telling me this is crap after that first mouthfeel. Let's see if we can dive into it a bit more and find out why it's crap. Okay. First of all, oh. <laughs> First of all, oh. Um, now, it feels, it tastes a little bit off, if I'm honest. Is there a date on it? it it's just the hops are gone. The hops are gone for me on this. Um, it's all in bloody Turkish, God knows. It just, I don't know, I think it's been affected by the heat or something because it just, the hops have got that skunky kind of off taste to them. And that's what I think I was getting on the aroma as well. Uh, and it's sweet. It's very light bodied. It's got a body of a glass of bloody water. Uh, Oh, it's not refreshing. It's not clean. This, yeah, I, I don't think this is right. I don't think it's supposed to taste like this. I'm pretty sure this is off. God knows. Because um, there's just this nasty taste to it. And it's just, you can't taste any sort of... <laughs> normal things that you you get when you drink a lager it's just really a stringent nasty gone off hop sort of taste and a really sweet syrupy horrible i mean it's a 4.5 percent cold filtered lager this should be i should be complaining because it tastes like nothing that's what i should be complaining about with a cold filtered lager if anything <clears throat> But this is, it's got an uh, incredible amount of flavour, but it's rough and it's off. I can't drink it. I just can't. If that's how it's actually supposed to be, then I'm, I'm shocked. Because it's just like some sort of Turkish piss. Gone off kebab. <laughs> um, yeah, all I can taste is, is offness and nastiness. I can't taste, I can't tell you what the, about any beer notes really. Just astringent, syrupy, really funky taste on the hops there. Um, let me know if you know what, what, what I'm describing there. Can you tell me why it tastes like that? Have you tried this beer? Did it taste like that for you? Oh, did it taste like that for you? I reckon it's supposed to have a lot of citrusy taste to it. But what you're getting is like a, perhaps a hint of citrus amongst the gone off nasty, sweet, disgustingness. This particular, I can only review what I've got in front of me. It may or may not be off. It's a one out of 10. It's absolutely poor, but I think it's off. So yeah, maybe I'll get a chance to try it again someday. There's no way it's supposed to taste like that. Ugh. What a bag of shit. Hopefully I won't get the shits tomorrow. Um, thanks for tuning in guys. Sorry, it's a bit <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to post it anyway because perhaps it is just a really bad beer. Perhaps that's what it's supposed to taste like. I don't know. Um, but, it, you know, it's, it's one of the worst lagers I've ever tasted in my entire life. And I I wouldn't have expected that. FS is not too bad. You know, it's certainly not this level of badness. So 
God knows. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Smash the like button if you've liked this video for some God knows weird reason. Consider subscribing to the channel. Till next one, people. Bash. Bye-bye, darlings.